welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comics to buy. New comic book day, this coming Wednesday, February 28th. Yeah, I am, this is going to be a good video. At least for us comic lovers, I think it's going to be a good video, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, welcome back. What a weekend. We're very busy over here. I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is how this video goes. For those who hasn't uh, seen it before, we're going to show you some cool covers. Then I'm going to give you some honorable mentions. And then the top 10. Also, this is a prize video. Anyone that subscribes, comments, likes, you have to make sure you're subscribed, comment, like. Uh, the comment gets you entered in. This week's winner is going to win some, for the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway. Yeah is going to win some amazing stuff. So I'm super excited for that. We'll talk about that in a minute. Also, if you ever want to check out my store, economicsandcomics.com, you can. Please come by. Um, I have a pre-order contest, so every weekend, if you order between Friday and Monday night, you get entered in to win a prize from that week's pre-orders, like ratios and stuff like that. And I usually announce it at the end of Monday night after I've done my orders. So there's a little incentive. And please, watch my pre-order video next. It'll be right after this video. You can click on it and get your pre-orders in either way or get informed because there's a lot of good stuff out there. Uh, I just wanted to say before we start, I met a lot of sickos this weekend. A lot of them flew out from all over the place. I love you guys. I'm so happy you guys, you guys are crazy. Um, I wish I could give you more time. But I hope that the time I did give you was you enjoyed that time. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for coming out. It was great to see you guys. And uh, it means a lot. So yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, let's get to covers. Okay, let's start with Amazon Attack. Number five, cover B by Rodriguez. That cover's sick. Batman the Brave and the Bold, cover uh, number 10, cover B by Matina. Cable, number two, 25 copy George Perez cover. And the Masterpiece cover. Canary, number three, the cover B foil. Conan, the Barbarian, number eight, cover A. Dead X-Men, number two, the 25 copy Canero. Detective Comics, 1082, cover B, the Federici. And cover D, the 1 in 25 Fumara. Now remember, these are just my favorite covers of the week. Duke, number 3, the 25 copy. Let's talk about that really quick. The Baroness, she appears in that book. That cover's sick. Good read. Fire and Ice, Tigra, one shot. Cover A by Notion. And cover B by Hetrick. Grim Pen and Ink, number 1. Cover B, Spotlight UV. Harley Quinn, number 37, cover B by Forns. And cover D is a 1 in 50 by Fumara. Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer, number 6, cover B, the $20 bill one. Holmes and Houdini, number 2, cover C by Lomov. And cover D by Josh Burns. Uh, Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, number 2, the Fax Edition Foil. Power Girl number six, the sweater cover, cover D. And the Carla Cohen foil, that's beautiful. And the one in 25, Dan Penotion. It says Quested Season 2, number two, cover D, the portrait variant's coming out, we'll see. Red Sonia 2023, number eight, cover A by Perio. Cover F by Frizen as a 10 copy, modern icon, sick. The Ribbon Queen, number eight, cover C is a horror poster homage. Apparently, Thundercats, number one, the signed edition is finally coming out. Thank God. Uncanny X-Men, number 268, the fax edition foil. Van Helsing, Van, uh, Vampire Hunter, number two, cover B, the Santa Cruz cover. And cover C, the Matas cover. World Tree, number eight, cover D, the 25 copy. White Widow, number four, the Rose Besh cover. 
And Wolverine 41 second print finally came out. That was took a while. Okay, let's give let me give you a couple honorable mentions. Flash number six. Uh I there's gonna be apparently a character in there called Inspector Pilgrim. I didn't look inside. Uh, cover B is the Diado Day Jr. cover. And cover F is the Game Key Art cover. Also, Giant Size Fantastic Four number one says a new threat. I don't know how big it's going to be. I didn't read that one either because it, I didn't order that book. It, it was someone else's. Now, I'm really excited for Savage Sword of Conan number one, Giant Size, like the old school. Here's cover A. Here's cover B. I can't wait to get that book and read it. And hopefully I have flashbacks of when I was a kid. And Woman of Marvel, number one, the Zoo or Zoo variant. Okay, those are some honorable mentions. All right, before we get into the top ten, I would love it if you would please subscribe. Make sure to throw a comment down at the end of the video and like so that you can get entered into next week's giveaway. Okay? You guys, this week has said something to me that I think we've been waiting for for a long time. Reads. Something's happening where the reads are getting better all around. And that is a good thing. That means it, it translates to so many things. People that read, enjoying reading. Uh, more popularity on the comic, which increases in value, which you're seeing with Ultimate Spider-Man and all that other stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, support of the comic market in general. Better reads equals... Uh, more business equals happier people, okay? So the reads are getting better, and I'm happy to report that to you. Let's start with number 10. Spider-Punk Arms Race number one. Here's the foil cover. And here's the Andrews cover. It was okay. Um, basically, Doc Ock is creating a Sentinel Ock, uh, which might fully appear in number two. You kind of see it in the background in, in number one. There's a lot of Sentinel stuff going on around. Anyway, number nine, Miles Morales 17. Here's the 25 copy. And here's the Manahini Heeny. First appearance of Zip Zephyr. It's like a god of wind. It's pretty ridiculous, to be honest with you. But... The next issue will be number 300. It is up for pre-order now. Do not miss that book. There are some sweet covers for it. Even if you don't buy from me, go to my store after this video or watch the pre-order video. And then go to my store and just look at the covers so you can call your stores or order from me, whatever, to pre-order Miles Morales 300. That's the next issue. Number 8, Immortal Thor number 7, the Rod Reese. Now, Rod Reese cover Look, Thor, for me, is up and down. I love Thor, okay? But the read is Shakespeare-y, whatever. Um, it's fine. Um, and I'm highlighting this book because I enjoyed it. There's a bunch of stuff in here. I feel like the first full appearance of Utgard Loki is in this book. I think in number one, they showed like a cameo. I feel like this is the first full appearance because they deal with him throughout the story. Um, there's a first appearance of Logi, I think. Luki. Eli. Eli or Ellie. I think that my personal appearance. And Utgard Odin cameo at the end. Like, I'm sure that's a cameo at the end. Utgard Omen, uh, Odin. So, it's really interesting. I still feel like I'm not on camera. Let me double check. That's a key, though, number... The Immortal Hulk 7, pretty sure. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry, guys, the alarm went off. How does it go off during my video? Uh, it stops the recording, too, which I thought was weird. All right, number 7 is Invincible Iron Man number uh, 15. Again, the reads are picking up. In this book, there's multiple armor, new armors. He wears an armor that's made out of something. I can't remember the name of it. That uh, Wolverine claws have nothing to do with but he's building a Sentinel Buster armor. It's a first. It's a first full at the last page, I think. 
um, like a Hulk Buster, but a Sentinel Buster. And like I said, there are a lot of Sentinel thingies going on lately. But cool cover and a decent read. All right. Number six, Wolverine number 44, Salvador La Roca Sabretooth cover. All I'm going to say is that is a great read too. The Wolverine Sabretooth stuff going on right now is really fun. And it's it's a nice little change. Honestly, Sabretooth coming, kind of coming back like this is good. Okay, top five. Punisher number four. I'm showing you the 25 copy scan variant. So... They say, who is Jigsaw? Yes, it is kind of an organization. Key events in this book. And let me just tell you, it's a good read. This this new Joe Garrison, you know, I was worried at first. Not anymore. So Punisher dons something like the stun chucks. They're like dumb chucks that stun people. It's kind of funny. Uh, but at the end, he finally accepts. Because everyone's calling him Punisher all the time. And he's like, you know, I'm not the Punisher, I'm not the Punisher. He says, you know what? I am the Punisher. He accepts it. So moving on, he is going to accept himself as being the new Punisher. Really good read. Number four, another good read. Carnage number four. Here's the Stormbreaker variant. Here's the 25 copy Davila cover. It's him versus Anti-Venom. And he tricks Anti-Venom. Leading into, he's going after Dylan next. But the story is written really well. It's awesome. So check it out. All right. Number three. Avengers Twilight number three. Man. Good stuff. They are doing a great job on this book. So basically, Cap goes to uh, the raft. He's going there to try to rescue Iron Man, Tony Stark's head. Because that's all that's left. In doing it, he finds his old shield. And he's super excited about that. The female bullseye, right, changes sides and works with him. And she, use, she uses arrows in close quarter combat. And he calls her Hawkeye, which is interesting. Uh, also, son of, the son of Tony Stark finally dons his Iron Man suit. So, a lot of stuff going on in this book. Great read. Like I'm telling you, I've been telling you over and over and over, great reads. This is something new for Marvel, guys. We've been bitching about it. It's time. I don't know, 2024 could be the year. Number two is What If Venom Number 1. Here's the 100 copy John Boy Myers. And here's the Paolo Sakura foil. Basically, it's She-Hulk getting venomized. You know when Eddie Brock's complaining in the uh, angry and he's complaining about Peter Parker in the church? Well, during that time, he's about to kill himself. And <clears throat> She-Hulk comes to save the day and stop him from killing himself. When she does that, Venom comes and bonds with her. And... It's the story that ensues after that. Um, she battles Sabretooth, who takes a sample of the mixed hybrid of She-Hulk and Venom. And at the end, Wolverine shows up, which I think will go to number two, What If Venom, where Venom and Wolverine uh, mash together. Really cool covers, fun read. What can I say? Okay, and we're about to do the number one. And again, thanks for subscribing, commenting, liking. Um, and we'll do the giveaway right after it. I have put this number one and I hadn't even read it yet. I just got it and I just read it. And number one is Penguin, number seven. Here's the cover B by Martina. Look, it is a full-on origin of the Penguin. We've started from the beginning. Oh, okay. The first four issues was him coming back from recent Batman events. 
getting the uh, red light to go back to Gotham and start running stuff again by like government. So he built a team. After that, the Batman Penguin origin story started last issue and this issue. And they're amazing. It is an amazing origin story. And it is, I, I don't, oh God, I don't know what to do. I would love, I would, if I had the money, I would buy everyone like the whole thing, the whole series. It is the best. It is awesome writing. It is dope. You find out things about Penguin and, and Batman that you didn't know, whether they're creating this new origin or not in between the regular run. Uh, this is the second part of him and Batman, like, working together but pe it, it is so good i don't know what else to say I, I don't know what else to say so i'm not going to say anything else pick it up okay so let's do the lee rogers giveaway giveaway right here again all you had to do was like subscribe and comment most important i mean i hope you subscribe we're almost to fifteen thousand. And you would be entering in a win for this video next week's prize. This is for last week's comments. And you're going to win this right here. Uh, first of all, the winner is Jason Astencio. Atencio3345. Message me at my store. I think I have you because you buy from me, but I want to make sure it's you. You won from Lee. Harley Quinn number 17. David Nakayama Virgin Exclusive. That's sick. That's sick. I believe it's Unknown Comics. It's really nice too. And X Force number one. <laughs> X Force number one, and it comes with a card. There might be two cards in there. I'm not sure. But you won. I just want to say thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to watch my pre order video and make sure to get your pre orders in. Um, and that's it. I'm done. I'm tapped out. See ya.